we want to simplify the given expressions involving factorials. So let's start with a review of factorials. For n factorial, n is a positive integer, where n factorial is a product of the positive integers less than or equal to n. So notice for n factorial, the first factor is n, followed by a factor of n minus one, so this factor is one less than the first factor, and so on, all the way down to the factor of positive one. So for example, six factorial would be six times five times four, times three times two times one. We can also write n factorial as a factor of n times n minus one factorial. For example, eight factorial can be written as eight times seven factorial. And by definition, zero factorial is equal to one. So going back to our two examples, there's a long way and a short way of simplifying these, and we'll go ahead and show both. The long way would be to start expanding each factorial. For example, k factorial would first contain a factor of k, followed by a factor of k minus one, followed by a factor of k minus two. Notice each factor is decreasing by one. So the next factor would be k minus three. This would continue all the way down to a factor of two and then one. And then for k minus two factorial, the first factor would be k minus two, which I'll go ahead and put over here. Notice the next factor would be one less than k minus two. Well, k minus two minus one is k minus three. And again, this would continue all the way down to a factor of two and a factor of one. Now that we've expanded these, we should recognize that we can simplify this fraction because the numerator and denominator share common factors. K minus two over K minus two simplifies to one. K minus three over K minus three simplifies to one. Notice all the remaining factors would simplify to one over one, which means this simplifies to two factors, K times K minus one, or if we want to expand this by distributing, we could express this as K squared minus K. Let's go and simplify this again using a slightly different method. As we begin to expand k factorial, notice how we have a denominator of k minus two factorial. As we begin to expand k factorial, we can write k factorial as k times a factor of k minus one, but notice how now the remaining factors would be k minus two factorial, which matches our denominator. So we can go ahead and just simplify k minus two factorial over k minus two factorial. And notice how the result, of course, is the same. We have k times k minus one, which is still equal to k squared minus k. Notice how the second method is a little more precise and actually less work. So if we can recognize when we have two equal factorials, it can save us some time. Looking at the second example, Again, we'll start by just expanding both factorials. So the first factor of k plus two factorial, of course, is k plus two. The next factor is gonna decrease by one. k plus two minus one is k plus one, followed by k. The next factor would be k minus one, followed by k minus two, and so on, all the way to a factor of two and then one. And then for k minus one factorial, the first factor is k minus one. Subtract one from k minus one, we have k minus two. Notice how these factors are matching up with the numerator all the way down to two times one. So once again, we can see we have common factors in the numerator and denominator that was simplified to one, k minus one over k minus one, k minus two over k minus two, and so on, all the way to two over two and one over one. We can see this simplifies to three factors. We have a factor of k plus two, a factor of k plus one, and a factor of k, which I'm gonna go ahead and write as k times k plus one times k plus two. I'll go ahead and multiply this out. Let's multiply the two binomials first. So we would have k times k squared, then we have k times two, that's two k, one times k is one k, so that's plus three k, plus two. And we'll go ahead and distribute. So we'll have k to the third, plus three k squared, 
plus 2k. So if you can leave it in factored form, we can leave it in this form here. If we need to multiply it out, we would have this expression here. I also want to show this another way. Again, if we recognize that we have k minus 1 factorial in the denominator, as we begin to expand the numerator, we'd have a factor of k plus 2 times a factor of k plus 1 times a factor of k times the next factor would be k minus 1. Therefore, we can write this as k minus 1 factorial. Notice how k minus 1 factorial over k minus 1 factorial will leave us with the same three factors, k plus 2 times k plus 1 times k, or in factored form, k times k plus 1 times k plus 2. Or if we needed to expand this, we would end up with the same expression we have here. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.